and welcome to the game, everybody. Glad you've joined us. Some triple A. All right, just about set to go. And on the mound today, Mike Daddy. He has been very stingy. Opposing batters have struggled against him this year, batting under 200. Think about this. Ready to go. Now it's the shortstop, David Hamilton. The shortstop. And that's how this game gets started. That one's in there. 0-2 now. And a swing and a miss. That's the first out. Well, that strikeout didn't take long. Batter's got to put up a better fight the next time up. The left fielder, number five, Tyler McDonough. The left fielder now at the plate. He swings and fouls one off. One out and the base is empty. Some serious heat, 97 on that fastball. Oh and two, here's the pitch. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. And again on 0 and 2. Right through there for the strikeout. And two away now. Already establishing a potent rhythm, striking out the first two batters. It looks like these hitters are going to have their work cut out for them in this one. And now, the designated hitter. Two down and nobody aboard. And we're just getting going here in the top of the first. Strike two. The pitcher challenged him with a good fastball, and he wasn't equal to it. Got him looking. Nice job out there as he gets him one, two, three. All set for the start of this inning, and now the DH, Bobby Dahlbeck. Bobby. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Daddy stands at six foot even. He works with a four-seam fastball, a cutter, a sinker, a splitter, and occasionally works with a slur. Caught him looking for the strikeout. Three straight fastballs, and he gets caught looking at the third one? I have no idea what went wrong for him in that A.B. The third baseman, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Swings through that one for strike two. He goes down looking. Base is empty with two out. Roman Anthony, the next to hit. And there's a strike. He's started this frame with seven straight strikes. We're in immaculate inning territory. No score here in the second inning. Gets him swinging. Who needs a defense behind you? An immaculate inning. Three strikeouts, nine pitches. A command performance for him. Top half, third inning, and now the right fielder, number nine. First offering misses the mark. Swings and misses, struck him out. Here's the catcher, Kyle Teal. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Next one's fouled back. Top of the third, no score. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. And that one is foul, we'll try again. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Back-to-back -back K's. Now at the dish, the second baseman, number 12. Swing and a foul straight back.
and that one fouled off. Two down and nobody aboard. We're here in the top half of the third. Got it. And that's that. Nine straight set down here. As we go to the top of the fourth, and now the shortstop, David Hamilton. Fastball for a strike. I gotta say, he'd better get the hit right here or he'll regret taking that pitch. With a pitcher like him on the mound, you don't get many cookies like that. 0-2 now. That one just misses. Nice take. Hack and a miss, that's a strikeout. The left fielder, number five. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, struck out looking the first time up. This pitch popped up. Baldwin in position. But it's the pitcher that makes the catch. Two away now. Batter probably wants a mulligan after that swing. That one was right down the pipe. The kind of pitch hitters dream about. And here's the first baseman. Good power, not so great at getting on base. Splits the middle, that's a strike. And that's in for a strike. Rapid fire work on the mound. He's keeping these batters on their toes. Just misses the mark outside the zone. And it's foul, and the at-bat keeps going. Gets it by him for the strikeout. They go down in order. On to the bottom of the fourth now. Still. We're back here at the ballpark. We're ready for the fifth inning. Stepping in, Bobby Dahlbeck. And swing and miss. Dahlbeck, 28 years old. And he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2016. Foul ball there. Here's the 0-2 pitch. In the air to right, pretty deep. Hauls it in for the out. Next to hit, the third baseman, number 13. That one fouled off. Swings through it for the K. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. And he just continues rolling out there, looking really confident on that three-pitch K. The batter now, Roman Anthony. 0 for 1, struck out swinging last time. Late with the swing, strike one. Two outs, base is empty. This one popped up. Lee has this one sized up. But it's the pitcher that makes the catch. And that's the end of the inning. We're back here at the ballpark. Top of the sixth inning. Now it's the right fielder, number nine. This one is in there, 0-1. Late on that fastball. Looks like he might be willing to chase up the ladder even higher after that swing. The pitcher saw that, and we'll see how he adapts. Fights that one away. The count remains 0 and 2. Cut on a miss. That's a strikeout. The batter. The catcher. And here's the catcher, Kyle Teal. Caught looking the first time up. He swings and fouls one off. Swing and a miss. Good rip, but that 98 mile per hour heat just a cut above. Swings through that one for a strikeout. The second baseman will hit next. First at bat was a strikeout. Swing and a miss, it's nothing and one. Out on the mound, he's been throwing lots of strikes, so the hitter might decide to be aggressive over the middle. Sure, he's got good stuff, but you can't hit it if you don't swing, and he's not missing the zone. And goes down on strikes, and that'll do it. Perfection through six. On to the next inning, and now at the plate, David Hamilton. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. 0-2, waves at that one. 
struck out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now batter. Left fielder. Now up the left fielder, number five. McDonough. And that's in for a strike. That one finds the zone. Swing and a miss at the splitter for strike three. And here's the first baseman, 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And that's outside. Right through there for a strike. And the count one and two. Swings through it, and that's a K. The perfection continues. 21 straight have been retired, and we still have no score. Ready to get the eighth inning going, and now the DH, Bobby Dahlbeck. Bobby Dahlbeck. Late on that fastball. Challenge fastball to start the A-B, and the batter clearly not ready for it. The pitcher shouldn't give him anything off speed in this spot. Good discipline. He did well to lay off that one down and away. And now it's even up. the high heat passed him for the strikeout. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. A little too slow on that heater. He might have been expecting something off speed. Fell back our way and that's out of play. Off the mark there and the count one and two. In the air to the right, Phillips under this one. Drops into the glove. Just missed that one a bit. A half inch closer to the sweet spot and it might have gotten down for a hit. Anthony in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. The Red Sox held hitless so far in the game. Pitch misses. Now one and two. That was well spotted, but he couldn't get the call from the plate umpire. But he's handling it well, and he might get that call later. Lee gets under it. Pulls it down for the catch. So now 24 have been set. All set to start the ninth inning in this one. And now the right fielder, number nine. And everybody watching the mound, he starts the ninth inning working on a perfect game. And the 0-1 now. Up the middle. Fires the first on the run. Oh, nice play. On that play, he didn't have any time to waste after making a good play on his forehand. Fast transfer from glove to throwing hand and a strong throw to get the out. Nice job. Digging in, Kyle Teal. Three pitch strikeout in the last AB. Will definitely want to do better this time. One down, base is empty here in the ninth. Swings through it. Swings and misses at the fastball up in the zone for the K. The second baseman getting ready to hit. Here it is, one out away from perfection. Fastball for a strike. Two down and nobody aboard here in the top of the ninth. Goes down on strikes, and he knew he should have offered it that one. Nine perfect. We're back here at the ballpark. Extra inning set to start, and the batter will be the shortstop, David Hamilton. Lifted in the air to right center. Phillips on the move. There to make the catch. And here is the left fielder, number five. 
And swing and a miss. One out, and the potential go-ahead run is at second. That misses the zone, and that is ball one. Struck him out looking. And now, the first baseman, number 24. This one to right. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Very fired up after that, and completely understandable. Great job to make some key pitches and get out of a tough inning. Nothing the final. A one run extra inning win. On behalf of our entire outstanding crew here at the show, I'm Ben Gelman. Thanks for joining us. Just about set to go now. And today's starting pitcher, Mike Daddy. It'll be hard to top his last start. What a great job he's done this season limiting right-handed batters, keeping their average against him down below 200. You face so many righty hitters over the course of a season, and that means how you perform against them is extra important. Amazing that he's kept them under the Mendoza line. Swings through it, and that's a K. Now up, Jacob Amaya. Jacob. Amaya. And swing and a miss. Pop foul out of play off to the right. One out and the base is empty. And that's outside. Got the batter looking for the K. Fastball at the letters for strike three. Already establishing a potent rhythm, striking out the first two batters. It looks like these hitters are gonna have their work cut out for them in this one. Base is empty with two out. Trey Mancini will hit next. And that one hit 97 on the gun. And a big swing and a miss. That's one way to set a tone for his outing. 98 miles per hour is always impressive, especially this early on. Got it. That's the third out. End of a half inning of play, no score. We're back here at the ballpark. On to the next inning. Now it's the shortstop, Tristan Gray. Tristan Gray. Daddy, a six foot righty, he works with a four-seam fastball, a cutter, a sinker, a splitter, and occasionally works with a slur. He reached back and blew the high. Swings through that one for a strikeout. And here at the plate, the right fielder, number 79. That one fouled off. The 0-1. A little out front there, swings through it. Down 0-2, and, and now you have to shorten up and just find a way to put it in play. Maybe gonna have to fight one or two off. 0-2 now. And a foul ball, so he stays alive. 0-2, here's the pitch. Keeps the A-B going with the foul ball. And here's the 0-2. Swings and misses, struck him out. 
So up next, Griffin Conan. In there, and it's 0-1. Two down and nobody aboard here in the top of the second. Bounce to third, Baldwin. Tosses to first, three up and three down, inning over. We're back here at the ballpark. Here we go in the top of the third scoreless ball game. Here's the left fielder, Avisail Garcia. Just can't catch up to the heat. Late that time, and it's strike two. Way too cavalier an approach from this lineup. They seem to be swinging at everything. Punches that one away with two strikes. Now a pop-up on the infield. Remillard settles underneath it, brings it in. The center fielder, the next to hit. It's been a tough stretch at the plate. Only two hits over the last five games. Popped up. Makes the grab, two down. Here's the catcher. Fly ball to left, down the line. And that drops foul. Bounce to the left side, Edwards. Slings to first, and that's a one, two, three inning. Nine straight sets. As we go to the top of the fourth, now the third baseman, Dane Myers. Out in front with the swing, that's strike one. These hitters are coming with an aggressive approach at the plate, swinging the bat early in the count. That can spark some offense, or it can put you in a lot of bad counts. Cuts on it and misses, that's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. And he just continues rolling out there, looking really confident on that three-pitch K. Here's the second baseman, Jacob Amaya. First at bat was a strikeout. And there's a breaking ball that drops in. Next one's fouled back. We're in the fourth inning, no score. Gets it by him for the strikeout. And now, Trey Mancini. Struck out on just three pitches the last time. Grounder to short, Edwards. There with plenty of time, inning over. So 12 up. We're in the top half of the fifth, and now the shortstop, Tristan Gray. Right through there for a strike. Swings and misses, struck him out. And now the right fielder. He has had a tremendous season, a lot of power, and put up a good average to boot. Up the middle, Gonzalez tosses to first, and a couple of quick outs. So two down now, and here at the plate, Griffin Conine. Conine measures six foot one, 26 years old, and he's got four homers over his last 10 games. Rapid fire work on the mound. He's keeping these batters on their toes. Swings and misses, and that'll be that. So five perfect. We're back here at the ballpark. All set for the start of this inning. Now the left fielder, Avisail Garcia. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0-2. Miss. That's a strikeout. And the next batter, the center fielder, number four. Swing and a miss. Late cut there. Out on the mound. He's been throwing lots of strikes, so the hitter might decide to be aggressive over the middle. Edwards whips it across. And a couple of quick outs. Next to hit, the catcher, number 25. Swings through that one, 0-1 now. What a filthy splitter he has. That thing dropped like it was filled with iron and there was a magnet in front of home plate. Whips it to first on the run. Nicely done for the out. Three up, three down here. And we're still not. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's the third baseman, Dane Myers. Dane Myers. 
Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. Swings through that one for strike two. One run ball game, but he's staying aggressive out there on the mound, coming right after these hitters. Hoping to put the tying run aboard. Got him. And now one out. Now it's the second baseman, Jacob Amaya. That's in there. It's 0-1. With all these first pitch strikes, he's clearly not afraid of contact. This is an aggressive and effective approach. Got him looking, and that's a strikeout. Now batting. The Trey Mancini now at the plate. Mancini. Popped up right side. Gonzalez settles underneath it. Brings it in for the out. The perfection continues. We're in the top of the eighth. Here's the shortstop at the plate, Tristan Gray. And immediately fires a strike to the left-handed batter. On the ground. And handles that one. On the run, sends it over to first. And very nicely done for the out. And now the right fielder. Late on that fastball. Still good life on that pitch late in this game. Sinker catches the zone at the knees. He goes down looking. The batter, number nine. Base is empty with two out. Griffin Kona digs in now. Three pitch strikeout in the last AB. Will definitely want to do better this time. On the move. Makes the grab. So now 24 have been set down in order. We're back here at the ballpark. Here's the left fielder, Avisail Garcia. That one in there. Strike one. Popped up left side. Edwards under it. Hauls it in for the out. The center fielder getting ready to hit. That one finds the corner. Strike one. Late with the swing there. Swing and a miss. Work on the timing before your next A.B. The catcher stands in now and watches strike one. They're down to their final strike of the game. Daddy is just one strike away. Swing and a miss, and this one is over. A perfect ending to a perfect game. And the celebration begins.
we're back here at the ballpark. Starting on the mound in this one, Mike Daddy. His strikeout rate this year among the best you'll see. So rare for a starting pitcher to be up above 12 strikeouts per nine innings. Over the first 23 years of this century, there were only 15 different pitchers who did it at the major league level. So the way he's dominated Through that one, 0 and 1 now. This pitch popped up, settles under it, hauls it in, two away. Base is empty with two out. Richie Palacios getting ready to hit, swing and a miss, strike one. No ball, one strike. Late with the swing there. No ball, two strikes. Got him looking, and that's a strikeout. First frame of the night behind. Five. Some serious heat, 97 on that fastball. Daddy, a righty with some serious heat. He works with a four-seam fastball, a cutter, a sinker, a splitter. Occasionally works with a slur. Tracks it down for the out. And there's a the ball. That's in there. That's strike one. Plenty of zip on that fastball. You can hear it sizzling, even from the press box. Looks sharp. Out towards left. On two gone now. And that one fouled off. Two outs, base is empty. That one in for a strike. Oh, and two. Swings and misses at the fastball up in the zone for the K. Nothing doing here in this. Here at the ballpark. Now it's the shortstop, number 80. This one in the air, center field. The center fielder settles underneath it. Hauls it in, and there's one away. So digging in, Dominic Keegan. That misses, and that is ball one. Swing and a miss, late cut there. Some nasty action on his sinker, and hitters need to force him to come up in the zone if they want to avoid chasing the low stuff. Gets it by him for the strikeout. Digging in, the switch hitting outfielder. And a strike in there. Two down and nobody aboard here in the back end of the third inning. Got the batter swinging. Back-to-back -back Ks. Nine straight set down. Bottom of the fourth, and now the DH, Ji Huan Bei. That one's in there. Strike one. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. 0 oh 2, here's the pitch. Hack and a miss. That's a strikeout. And he just continues rolling out there, looking really confident on that three pitch K. And there's a strike. Home team down by one. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Right through there for a strike. Foul ball still 0-2. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, that's a K. Way out in front of the slurve there. The left fielder, number Here's one. the left fielder, Richie Palacios. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Might have a more aggressive approach this plate appearance. Fell back our way, and that's out of play.
fouls it back with two strikes. Struck out looking for the backwards K. Couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball at... Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here's the first baseman, number 95. That one in there, and it's 0-1. And it's strike two. And here's the 0-2. And it's foul, and the at-bat keeps going. Gets a piece, it stays 0-2. A little inside conscious now, and maybe the pitcher will target the outer half of the plate. Got the K. One away. And now, the third baseman, number 54. Late on that fastball. Love how he's attacking the zone, throwing a ton of strikes. These hitters need to be ready to swing at the first good strike they see. Cut on and miss. That's a strikeout. That's straight-up power pitching right there. Three straight fastballs, and the batter wasn't up to the task. He couldn't even make contact. Might need to work on the timing before your next A-B. Now it's the second baseman, Jonathan Aranda. Struck out swinging the first time. In there at the knees. 0-1. Aranda, 25 years old, and he was born in Mexico. Swing and a miss, and the count is 0-2. And a foul ball, so he stays alive. That one down the line. Remillard takes it to the bag at first. Play made. That ends the inning. So perfect innings in the books. 80. That one finds the zone. Strike one. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. 0-2, rocks and fires. Gets him swinging. Now batter. Here's the catcher, Dominic Keegan. And a strike, good fastball, 98 miles an hour. Daddy has been excellent in this ballgame. Strike two. He didn't like either of the first two he saw, and now he has to battle down 0-2. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And there's two down. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Two outs and nobody aboard. He swings and fouls one off. Now here's the 0-2. Struck out swinging. inning three strikeouts nine pitches a command performance for him we're back here at the ballpark and now the dh ji huan bay that one pulled foul Hoping to put the tying run aboard. Comes up empty, strike two. Swing and a miss, that's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. The right fielder, number 21, Johnny. 0-1. Holding on to a one-run lead here in the bottom of the seventh, just past the stretch. Swing and a miss for the K. Blew the express right by the bat for strike three. Now the left fielder, Richie Palacios. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Lee in position. Makes the catch, inning over. The perfection continues. All set for the bottom of the eighth. And now the first baseman, number 95. Swings through that one for strike one. Good rip, but that 98 mile per hour heat just a cut above. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. Next one's popped in the air into right. Makes the grab on the run. Just missed that one a bit. I 
half inch closer to the sweet spot and it might have gotten down for a hit. Swing and a foul straight back. The 0 1. And that gets to the top of the zone for a strike. One run ball game, but he's staying aggressive out there on the mound. Swings through it, and that's a K. Here's the second baseman, Jonathan Aranda. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The 0 1 offering. Right through there for a strike. Gets a piece, stays alive. Battling here, fouls it away. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swings and misses. Back-to-back -back Ks. So now 24. We're back here at the ballpark. Here's the shortstop at the plate, number 80. And everybody watching the mound, he starts the ninth inning working on a perfect game. One run game in the bottom of the ninth. This one deep in the air to left. There's one down. So up next, Dominic Keegan. Foul ball there. Trying to close out this one run lead and the home team trying to send these fans home happy. That misses the zone. Now one and two. Got the strikeout looking. They are down to their final out. The center fielder, number The center fielder now at the plate. Swing and a foul straight back. 0-1 now. Gets that fastball by the swing upstairs. Way too cavalier an approach from this lineup. They seem to be swinging at everything. Strike three call. This one is over. A perfect game. And the celebration begins. Fans are fun. And welcome to the game, everybody. Glad you About to get started here. And our pitcher in this game, Mike Daddy. It'll be hard to top his last start. What a great job he's done this season limiting right-handed batters, keeping their average against him down below 200. You face so many righty hitters over the course of a season, and that means how you perform against them is extra important. Amazing that he's kept them under the Mendoza line. On the ground to third, and handles that one. Gets it to first. And a quick out number one. Alejo Lopez getting ready to hit. And that one fouled off. One out and the base is empty. And goes down on strikes. Two gone now. 
David Fletcher the next to hit. First pitch, that's in for a strike. Swings through it, and that's a K. End of a half inning of play. On to the next inning, and here's the first baseman, number 28. Landon. That one's in there. It's 0-1. Daddy, a righty with some serious heat. He works with a four-seam fastball, a cutter, a sinker, a splitter, and occasionally works with a slur. 0-2 now. Got him looking, and that's a strikeout. Next up, the designated hitter. Swings through that one, 0-1 now. Here's a pop-up. Perez gets under it. Hauls it in for the out. Base is empty with two out. And now the right fielder. Swing and a foul straight back. That misses the zone. And that's ball one. Fly ball to center. That one down for a hit. And that extends the inning. That's the kind of hit where a player might be feeling a little sheepish after, but it counts just the same as a laser into the gap. You'll take a blue pit off the end of the bat every time, just like you would a line drive. Sometimes that's the precursor to getting a great swing on the ball. And they've got some choices now with good speed on the bases. No score here in the second inning. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Hack and a miss, that's a strikeout. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a runner left on base. Now to the bottom. We're back here at the ballpark. Here we go in the top of the third scoreless ball game. And here's the catcher, number 13. And the pitch is in for a strike, 0-1. Next one's fouled back. Next offering is upstairs. One, two. Gets him swinging. Eli White will hit next. And a good fastball to start off. That's strike one. That's a strike. And it's a pop-up. Calls it in, two away. And here at the plate, the center fielder, number 22. Swing and a miss, it's nothing and one. Out on the mound, he's been throwing lots of strikes, so the hitter might decide to be aggressive over the middle. Sure, he's got good stuff, but you can't hit it if you don't swing, and he's not missing the zone. Lands foul, we'll reset and do it again. Two outs, base is empty. Swings and misses, goes down on strikes. And that's that, not much going on. It's the start of the fourth. Now it's the second baseman, Alejo Lopez. Swings through that one for strike one. He swung early in the count, and that's been a recurring theme with this lineup. Seems like a big part of their strategy in this one. That just misses. Nice take. The strikeout there. Picks up the seventh strikeout of the ball game. Now batting. Here's the shortstop at the plate, David Fletcher. We're in the fourth inning, no score. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Bounce to the right. Fires over to first. And quickly, two away. And now it's going to be the first baseman, number 28. Right through there for a strike. Two down and nobody aboard. Top half of the fourth. That one finds the zone. Just missed. What a take with two strikes. Swings through that one for a strikeout. 
So no runs, no hits, no air. We're in the top half of the fifth. Digging in, the designated hitter. The designated hitter. And a strike, good fastball, 98 miles an hour. Strike two. What a filthy splitter he has. That thing dropped like it was filled with iron and there was a magnet in front of home plate. Struck the batter out without a swing. Frozen with the heater at the knees. And he just continues rolling out there, looking really confident on that three pitch K. And now the right fielder, one for one with a single so far. First pitch, swings and misses. Comes up empty, strike two. Gets it by him for the strikeout. Now up, Nick Ward. Struck out swinging the first time. That one fouled off. Right through there for a strike. Struck him out looking. Who needs a defense behind you? An immaculate inning. Three strikeouts, nine pitches. A command performance for him. We're back here at the ballpark, onto the top half of inning number six. And now, the catcher, number 13. Late on that fastball, he's thrown a lot of first pitch strikes, so the hitters need to be ready to swing early. It may not drive up the pitch count too much, but you know you'll have a good shot to do damage. Cut on and miss, that's a strikeout. Now, back. now the left fielder, Eli White. Eli First time up was a pop-out. And he's a really good defensive outfielder with excellent instincts and speed. And a big swing and a miss. And I think he's on the rise in part because of his speed. He can really go and get it when the ball's in the air. And that can be painful for a hitter. You put some good wood on it, you think it's going to land, but he turns on the jets and hauls it in. The Stripers trailing by one. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Foul ball still 0-2. You think about the best defensive outfielders in recent memory, players like Kevin Kiermeyer, Jackie Bradley Jr., Mookie Betts, Alex Gordon, all with good to excellent speed, but it's their instincts that make them special in the outfield. And now one and two. You hold your breath sometimes with some outfielders because they throw their bodies around with reckless abandon to make the play. Oh, and that's a great stop. It's there, and that's a great play. Had to dive just to stop it, then gathered it in and fired over from one knee. That's a tough play, but he was so smooth doing it. That is great work. The center fielder now at the plate. And that one is in for a strike. Swings through that one out in front there. Daddy has been excellent in this ballgame. Way outside. One and two the count. Gets a piece, stays alive. He swings and fouls one off. And it's foul, and the at-bat keeps going. 1-2 offering. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Two outs, and nobody aboard. And he goes down on strikes. And that's a 1-2-3 inning. So another. Top of the seventh here at the plate, Alejo Lopez. The second baseman, Alejo Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Good rip, but that 98 mile per hour heat just a cut above. 
Back up the middle, he knocks it down. They get the out, even with the ricochet. Now batting. And now the shortstop, David Fletcher. Fletcher. Swing and a miss. Strike one. The hitters in this lineup have been aggressive early in the count, swinging a lot, but then when they get down, they need to be a little more patient. Maybe they take some pitches and extend the at-bats, try to get some base runners aboard. And a couple of quick outs. The first baseman. The first baseman digs in now. Pitch misses. And that's ball one. Swings through it. Good pitching there, putting it a bit up and in on his hand so he can't extend for more power. There's a sinker at the knees for a strike. Some real heat there at 98 miles per hour. Another scoreless inning. We're in the top of the eighth, and now the DH, number eight. Pulled softly, but that goes foul. Hoping to put the tying run aboard. Fights that one away. The count remains 0 and 2. Swings and misses at the fastball up in the zone for the K. And now the right fielder. Three pitch strikeout in the last AB. Will definitely want to do better this time. Fell back our way, and that's out of play. This pitch popped up. The third baseman settles under this one. Makes the grab, two down. Now batting, number 36. So digging in, Nick Ward, 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Fell back our way, and that's out of play. The 0-1. Fouled off, he was late. Holding on to a one-run lead, and we're in the top of the eighth. Caught him looking for the strikeout. Totally dominant on the mound right now. Through eight innings without... All set to start the ninth Three inning in this one. Here's right. the catcher, number the 13. Year. Ball and ball. there's a strike. One run ball game, but he's staying aggressive out there on the mound, coming right after these hitters. Pitch is in there, and it's nothing in two. Swings and misses, struck him out. And a strikeout, that's out number one here in the ninth. The batter. The left fielder. He's two outs Eli. away. Here's the left fielder, Eli White. Ground ball to the right side. Takes it to first for the out. Now batting, the center fielder, Justin D. So down to their final out of this one. Next to hit, the center fielder, number 22. And that one fouled off. Here comes the 0-1. Takes a strike. Clearly, he's confident in his breaking ball in this one. Got it. And that will do it. Daddy tossed a complete game shutout for him. He was simply stellar for them. This is an outing that may open some eyes, both inside and outside the organization.
and welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. This game will feature Triple A baseball from at the plate, the shortstop. Leading up for the time, the shortstop, Jackson. Oh, and one. Swings through it. And that one is foul. We'll try again. Good rip, but that 98 mile per hour heat just a cut above. That pitch just misses the inside corner. And the count one and two. Got him swinging. And there's one down. So digging in, Kyle Stowers. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 1. A little out front there swings through it. That's one way to set a tone for his outing. 98 miles per hour is always impressive, especially this early on. Hack and a miss, that's a strikeout. Already establishing a potent rhythm, striking out the first two batters. It looks like these hitters are gonna have their work cut out for him in this one. Colton Wong in the box now. No balls and a strike. Swing and a pop-up foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Two outs, base is empty. On the ground to first, Remillard handles it here. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. End of one, and we're still... We're back here at the ballpark. Here's the third baseman, number 86. Pop foul out of play off to the right. Daddy stands at six foot even. He works with a four seam fastball, a cutter, a sinker, a splitter, and occasionally works with a slur. That's some serious mustard on that fastball. 0-2, rocks and fires. Gets a piece, stays alive. Got him looking, and that's a strikeout. Batting fit. Next up, the designated hitter. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Swings through that one out in front there. Not likely he'll have much success swinging at the high heat like that. On the mound, he might as well keep going back to that pitch. Got him looking, and he did not like that call. Well, that strikeout didn't take long. Batter's got to put up a better fight the next time up. The catcher at the plate now, and that's ball one. Two down and nobody aboard. Bottom half of the second inning. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Swings through that one for a strikeout. They go down in order. We'll move on to the third with no score. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, number six. There's a strike up high. That's a hittable pitch, but not what he was looking for. Early in the count, it's okay to take that. Right through there for the strikeout. One gone. And he must have been looking in some other location. Otherwise, I don't know why he'd go down looking on a fastball on the inner half. Tyler Nevin stands in now and watches strike one. Right through there for a strike. He didn't like either of the first two he saw, and now he has to battle down 0-2. Next pitch misses. Ball one. The Knights leading by two here in the back end of the third inning. And that's a little bit hot. Just misses with that one. Well-thrown pitch, even if he didn't get the result he wanted. Goes down on strikes, and he knew he should have offered at that one. Batting none. Base is empty with two out. Now a chance for the left fielder, number 15. Swing and a foul straight back. The 0-1. Comes up empty. Strike two. Struck him out looking. Nine straight set down. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Now at the dish, the shortstop. Not shortstop. 
Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. The 0 1. Late with the swing there. That sinking fastball looks really hittable out of the hand, but the late movement just makes it dive under the bat. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Bites that one off, we'll reset and do it again. And again on 0-2. Got the batter looking for the K. Frozen with the heater at the knees. The center fielder. And now it's going to be Kyle Stowers. In there, and it's 0-1. Out on the mound, he's been throwing lots of strikes, so the hitter might decide to be aggressive over the middle. Sure, he's got good stuff, but you can't hit it if you don't swing, and he's not missing the zone. Swing and a miss at the splitter for strike three, and he just continues rolling out there, looking really confident on that three-pitch K. So two down now, and here at the plate, Colton Wong. Late on that fastball. Grounder to the left side, and foul ball. 0-2 oh now. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Now here's the 0-2. Swings and misses, struck him out. So 12 up. 12 down to begin the ball game. The Knights have the lead. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the third baseman, number 86. Ground ball to third base. On to first. And a quick out number one. The designated hitter will hit next. And there's a strike. The hitters in this lineup have been aggressive early in the count, swinging a lot. But then when they get down, they need to be a little more patient. Maybe they take some pitches and extend the at-bats, try to get some base runners aboard. Swings through it, and that's a K. Now bad. The, catcher. the catcher, getting ready to hit. First at bat was a strikeout. Swing and a foul straight back. The Tots still in search of their first hit in this one. This pitch popped up. Remillon drifts towards it. But it's the pitcher that makes the catch. And that ends the inning. So five perfect innings in the books. The Knights on top here. We're in the bottom of the sixth. And now the right fielder, number six. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. With all these first pitch strikes, he's clearly not afraid of contact. This is an aggressive and effective approach. Next offering is downstairs. Such a difficult pitch to lay off of. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball at the knees. And a pop-up in foul territory on the right side. Two away. The left fielder digs in now. Went down on strikes the first time through. That one pushed foul. Two down and nobody aboard. You're in the bottom of the sixth. That's off the mark. And one and one now. Swings and misses, and that'll be that. Perfection through six innings. The Knights have the edge, four to nothing. We're back here at the ballpark, and the batter will be the shortstop, number 87. That one finds the zone, 0-1. Oh Late swing, fouled to the left. Gets a piece, it stays 0-2. And he goes down on strikes. One away now in the bottom of the seventh. And that's outside. And that is ball one. 
He swings and fouls one off. The Tides with a zero in the hit column so far. And a ground ball to first. Steps on the bag. Two up, two down. The batter. Base is empty with two out. Colton Wong, the next to hit. That one's in there. Strike one. Lifted in the air, right field. Sheets moving under it. Drops into the glove. The perfection continues. 21 straight have been retired. The Knights on top, four to nothing. On to the bottom of the eighth. Here's the third baseman, number 86. Not a single base runner through the first seven innings for this lineup. Absolute dominance on the mound. Swings and misses. Strike one. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Cut on a miss. That's a strikeout. Next up, the designated hitter, number 53. Bouncer out to short. Zips it across. And a couple of quick outs. Base is empty with two out. And here's the catcher. And swing and a miss. He's done well to get these hitters chasing at pitches outside the zone. They've got to be a bit more patient and make him come into the strike zone if they want to get to him. Bites that one away. The count remains 0 and 2. The Knights up by four here in the bottom half of the eighth. And goes down on strikes. And a nice frame on the mound. He sets him down. We head to the bottom of the ninth. Now it's the right fielder, number six. Fouled off, he was late. That one fouled off. Lands foul, we'll reset and do it again. Oh and two, here's the pitch. Battling here, fouls it away. What an at-bat he's putting together. He's doing a great job of frustrating the pitcher, and that makes a mistake pitch more likely. Here's the one-two offering. Fights it off, we'll see another. And it's foul, and the at-bat keeps going. Swing and a miss. He strikes out for the third straight time. Now better. The He's two baseman. outs away. Come and here's on. the first baseman, Tyler Nevin. Nevin. And that one fouled off. Right through there for a strike. Up the middle. Tosses to first. Two up, two down. So down to their final out of this one. The batter now, the left fielder. Ground ball to short. This should do it. The final out of the game and history here.
Hello, baseball fans. Welcome into this one. So We're back here at the ballpark. And towing the slab in this Leading one, up. Mike Four Daddy. He's done well to navigate through tough spots. You can see from the stats that he's been death on lefty batters this season. Maybe they have a tough time picking the ball up out of his hand, but whatever it is, he's really limited them. It's an impressive stat and something he can build upon as he develops. To first, one up, one down. Kyle Stowers now at the plate. Swing and a miss. 0-1. That's one way to set a tone for his outing. 98 miles per hour is always impressive, especially this early on. Takes it to the bag alone. Too quickly gone in the bottom of the first this afternoon. Colton Wong in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Swings and misses, and the count is 0-2. Two. two outs, base is empty. Runs it up to 96 to record the K. Through an inning, no score. On to the bottom of the second. Now the third baseman, number 86. Swing and a miss, 98 on the gun. Daddy, a righty with some serious heat. He works with a four-seam fastball, a cutter, a sinker, a splitter, and occasionally works with a slur. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Got him looking, he didn't like the call. Three straight fastballs and he gets caught looking at the third one? I have no idea what went wrong for him in that A-B. The designated hitter in the box now. No balls and a strike. Inside corner at the knees. That's a strike. Good fastball placement. Gets a piece. It stays 0-2. Right Some real heat there at 98 miles per hour. No messing around out there. He kept on firing in heaters, challenging the batter to do something with it. And he just couldn't make it happen. And here's the catcher. It's been a tough stretch at the plate. Only two hits over the last five games. In the air, right field. Brings it in with a nice running grab. That is the inning. Nothing doing here in this half of the inning. We've played two innings. We're back here at the ballpark. And now the right fielder, number six. He swings and fouls one off. Struck out swinging. Way out in front of the slurve there. Dylan Beavers digs in now. And there's a strike. The Tots down a run here in the back end of the third inning. Got him. And quickly two away. And here's the first baseman, Tyler Nevin. Swings through that one, 0-1 now. He started this frame with seven straight strikes. We're in immaculate inning territory. Next one's fouled back. Swings and misses, and that'll be that. Who needs a defense behind you? An immaculate inning. Three strikeouts, nine pitches. A command performance for him. Bottom of the fourth. Now it's the shortstop, number 87. The shortstop, Jackson. Holiday. Round ball, right side. Gonzalez throws the first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. So up next, Kyle Stowers. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. And that's outside. One and one. Swing and a miss out in front of that. The Knights leading by two. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a miss. Got the strikeout. 
Some high cheese for strike three. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. And the pitch is in for a strike. And it's 0-1. And, and swing and miss. 0-2, here's the pitch. Got the batter swinging. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. So 12 up, 12 down to begin the ball game. We head to the bottom of the fifth the inning. Here's the third baseman, number 86. There's a strike. On the inside corner for a strike. 0 and 2 now. Swing and a pop up. The third baseman in position. But it's the pitcher that makes the catch. One away. The batter, the designated hitter. Next up, the designated hitter. And he has struggled this year. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Comes up empty. Strike two. Some nasty action on his sinker. And hitters need to force him to come up in the zone if they want to avoid chasing the low stuff. Tosses to first. And a couple of quick outs. Here's the catcher. Swing and a foul straight back. 0 1 now. Just missed. Next pitch, in for a strike. Fine work in this one, just one strike away from a fifth shutout frame. Grounder to first. Lee takes it to the bag at first. Play made, that ends the inning. So five perfect innings in the books. The Knights lead it two to nothing. We'll move on to the bottom of the sixth. Now up the right fielder. The right fielder. Fell back our way and that's out of play. He's thrown a lot of first pitch strikes, so the hitters need to be ready to swing early. It may not drive up the pitch count too much, but you know you'll have a good shot to do damage. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Got him looking. There's one down. The Here's the left fielder, the left Dylan fielder. Beavers. First at bat was a strikeout. Beaver. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Love how he's attacking the zone, throwing a ton of strikes. These hitters need to be ready to swing at the first good strike they see. Balls it in, and there's two away. Base is empty with two out. Tyler Nevin getting ready to hit. That's off the mark, and that is ball one. This pitch popped up. The third baseman under it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Perfection through. Hope you had a good stretch at home, set for the last half of the seventh. And the batter will be the shortstop, number 87. That one finds the zone, 0 and 1. Right through there for a strike. Keeps the A-B going with the foul ball. 0-2, rocks and fires. Bites that one off, we'll reset and do it again. Out to short. Mend it. Tosses to first. Leadoff batter set down to open the seventh. Now batting, center fielder, Kyle. Kyle Stowers will hit next. Grounder to third. The throw to first. And quickly, two away. So digging in, Colton Wong. Three-pitch strikeout in the last A-B. Will definitely want to do better this time. There with plenty of time. Inning over. The perfection continues. 20. We're back here at the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now, the third baseman, number 86. And that one fouled off. On 0 and 1, the delivery. That just missed. Here's the 
Here's a chopper up the middle. Fires the first on the run. Oh, nice play. Next up, the designated hitter. Still a ways to go, but you do not want to move away from this broadcast. This out to center. Brings it in. And now two away. Now batting. Base is empty with two out. And here's the catcher. That one fouled off. The 0 1. Good eye there. And the count one and two. Kicks and delivers. Foul ball, still a one two count. Got him looking, and that's a strikeout. So now 24 have been set down in order. Only We're back here at the ballpark. Last chance for the home team. Now it's the right fielder, number six. And everybody watching the mound, he starts the ninth inning working on a perfect game. And the 0-1 now. Swings through that one. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. And he just continues rolling out there, looking really confident on that three-pitch K. Beavers in the box again, takes a strike. On the ground to third, and handles this chance. Sends it across to first, and a couple of quick outs. So down to their final out of this one. And now it's gonna be Tyler Nevin. Late on that fastball. Two down and nobody aboard here in the last half of the ninth. Sky to left, and this should do it. And history, it's a perfect game.
and here it comes. And it's fouled away. Five run lead after their first at bat. That is huge at this point, but you've got to keep the attitude to keep your foot on the gas. Don't let that team back in this ball game. Cruise to the finish line, but do it with intention. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. And downstairs. Struck him out looking. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations oh. others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Hoog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Gets a piece and stays alive. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. At the belt and fires. Swings and misses. The high heat too much on that one. With that kind of velocity and elevated that fastball, even if it's the still baseball. in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Foul ball. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Nothing doing for the Guardians there. Still looking at that. Back here in Cleveland. Stepping in the long ball threat, Brent Rooker. The right fielder. The pitch. And a foul ball. Rooker, a former All-Star, 29 years old, and they traded for him earlier this year. And a foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one missing low. The one-two. Ground ball up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Here's Jose Ramirez. He's always a threat at the plate. He's been flexing his power in the majors for a long time now. His first career home run was to right field right here inside Yankee Stadium in 2014. The right fielder that day for the Yankees, Ichiro Suzuki. Even he couldn't catch that one. In time to Vaughn. And Ramirez is set down. David Fry digs in for the Guardians. Right through there for a strike. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. That one just misses. Yeah, the count one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. I mean, with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. Runner at second, two down. Bottom half of inning number two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. One left for the Guardians. It's five enough. Set for the bottom of the third, stepping up for the Guardians. Gabriel Arias. Not shortstop. The pitch. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. And he deals. Popped up. Has a beat on it. Hauls it in for the out. Here's Andres Jimenez. And a foul ball. Fastball for a strike. 
And the count is 0-2. One out, base is empty. Right through there, got him. Two gone. The battle. Digging the in, it's the speedy outfielder, Este Yuri Ruiz. Swing and a miss. That one at 99. 0 oh, and 1. And that's in for a strike. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Back now at Progressive Field. And here is Stephen Kwan. And first offering is fouled off. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. The 0-2 stays alive. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Now well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Got it by him for the K. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking no very much on his no game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. One down, base is empty. Just missed. His understanding of the strike zone, very impressive. That was a very close 0-2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. Well, he showed a lot of conviction with the fastball there, not just because of the velocity, but also the ability to command it on the inside part of the plate. The last thing you want to do with two strikes is just get too far in there and it gets away and it hits the batter. So when I see a two-strike fastball bunch up a guy like that, it tells me there's a lot of confidence in that pitch. And that one hit 97 on the gun. And a ground ball to first. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Two outs. And down on strikes he goes. Three up, three down, inning over. Guardians fail to score. And they're on the short end of an 8-0 score. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Jose Ramirez. Daddy back to work. Out towards left center. Benintendi moving under it. Brings it in. And there's one down. You think back to 2017, and Cleveland set a major league record. 22 consecutive wins they had. It was capped off with a 10-inning walk-off win. Pretty amazing streak in a big part of the history of this yard. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Boog, and I remember early in that season covering them and talking to their staff and players, and they didn't feel like they had really clicked yet. Now, when I went back to do some research, looking at metrics like base runs, I realized they weren't scoring runs at the rate in which the data was saying they should be at. So the numbers were saying it was just a matter of time until they would take off. Little did we know that it would convert into a 22-game winning streak, and it took the baseball world by storm. I love when you talk nerd to me. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the catcher, Bo Naylor. Swing and a miss, 99. How do you do? Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Got him looking. And it's a three up, three down inning. Guardians go down one, two, three. Still eight. And we're back, bottom of the inning. Here's the shortstop at the play, Gabriel Arias. And first offering is fouled off. All right, Siggy, trivia time. Back when this ballpark opened, 1994, one future Hall of Famer hit the first triple in the park, and another hit the first homer by a Cleveland player. Think you know who they were? Okay, I know that Ken Griffey Jr. hit the first triple here, but 
First homer for Cleaver. Uh, give me a hint. Switch hitter. That's all you're getting. Oh, dude. Eddie Murray, no doubt. Bam! Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And as a hitter, it's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. The White Sox up big in this one here in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the That's baseball right now. Number one. Este Yuri Ruiz digs Ruiz. in for the Guardians. Ruiz having more success against left-handed pitching this season, as might be expected. The 0-1. Right through there for a strike. Got him. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here is Stephen Kwan. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Next offering is fouled back. Riding to the plate. Foul ball still 0 and 2. And a pitch on the ground right side fires over to first and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh now batting first baseman Josh. and now it's Josh Naylor fall off foul the pitch strike two In the air, left field. Ben Intendi ranging after it. And there's two down. Now batting. The right fielder. Brent. Brent Rooker, the next to hit. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And yeah, there's the strike. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And good work. Out of the bottom of the eighth. So in now for Cleveland, Jose Ramirez. Yeah, the right hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. Bounced out to short. Montgomery gets it to first. And Ramirez is set down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Hit in the air, center field. On his way over. And a couple of quick outs. Bo Naylor at the plate now. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. These hitters have been very aggressive early in the count, but when you're down, you might want to be a little more patient. Take some pitches, see if you can extend those at bats and get some base runners on. Swing. He's still in the game here in the ninth inning. Kicks and deals. Caught him looking for the K. Here's the second baseman, Andres Jimenez. Check swing, no appeal. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. There's just something about that ninth inning but being at under 100 pitches he still got plenty of fuel left in the tank and a good eye there next offering is in for a strike swings and misses it's a strikeout 
And they're down to their last out. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand. And just... In the air, out to center. And he's got it. Ball game. And the White Sox win the rubber match of this three-game series. Shades of Juan Marichal in this one, Boob. Outstanding work on the mound. A one-hitter for your first MLB win. Certainly something special. And we welcome you to the south side of Chicago and guaranteed rate field. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Minnesota Twins going up against the Chicago White. Just about ready to go. And today's starter, Mike Daddy. Going to be hard to top his last start singing. He was outstanding. Complete game shutout. He got some great support from his defense. He's got the swing and miss stuff. Everything working for him. We'll see if he's got it today. To the right side. Vaughn takes it to the bag. One up, one down. Here's Manuel Margot. He's been on fire at the dish lately. Working on a five-game hitting streak. Pop foul out of play off to the right. One, out, one, out. one down, base is empty. Splits the plate. And it's 0-2. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Got him. Nice, efficient start to the afternoon. That That's two great. out. Two outs, great. base is empty. Royce. Here's Royce Lewis. Lewis. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And that extends the inning. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Swing and a ball popped up. Moose should have this one. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. One left for Minnesota. Now it's the white side. And we're back. New inning getting started. And now it's going to be Carlos Correa. And a swing and a miss. Daddy measures six feet even. He features a four-seam fastball, a cutter, a sinker, a splitter, and occasionally mixes in the slur. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, he's got great strikeout stuff on the mound, doesn't he? I mean, double-digit strikeouts in his last start, and he's just racking them up again in this one. This guy can really dominate a game out there. Not a fun assignment for any lineup. Here's Alex Kirilov. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. Next offering in there for a strike. And that's strike two. Boog, here's a guy at the plate. I'm expecting to have a good game. He always seems to play better in road games. Carouse it. Two down. 
Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't that seem like things are in sync, and the ball's hitter. just not coming off Man. his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. And a foul ball. And the right-hander deals. And it's quickly nothing in two on the designated hitter. Two outs, bases empty. Swing and a ball popped up under it. Hauls it in to end the inning. Nothing doing here for the Twins. We'll go to the bottom of the second. Back here on the south side, here's the left fielder, Jake Fraley. Daddy, back to work. And that one fouled off. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. I oh, love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity. Man, it is hard to catch up to. So here's Christian Vasquez. There's a strike. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Singy, you look at the sequence right there. Three pitches, all hard stuff up in the zone. It's another example of the way pitchers like to attack hitters in the sport today. Yeah, I mean, as long as you can execute those pitches and not leave them in the middle part of the zone, those are tough pitches to do much with. They're just tough to get on top of, and a lot of times they have that rising appearance we talk about so much. Pretty much blew him away right there. Castro, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. All right, there's number eight, one away. Swing and a miss struck him out. It's an immaculate inning. Well, he's saying, who needs the defense? An immaculate inning. Three strikeouts, nine pitches. We just witnessed something really special. Here on the south side, and now the center fielder, Manuel Margot. That one down the line, and foul ball. Well, these twins just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. And now for the twins, Royce Lewis. Fought off foul. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one for strike two. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Now there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Edouard Julien. And a swing and a miss there. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Late with the swing there. You know, Brooke, every team has a hitter's meeting pregame. But this lineup seems way too anxious, aggressive. You wonder what they talked about. Stassi makes the play. And that is that. Twins retired in... Back at guaranteed right field. All set for the start of the inning. And now the shortstop, Carlos Correa. And that one wrapped foul. Well, these twins just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They've got players in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Got him swinging. Well, he's on a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent control and command, not walking opposing batters. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break his rhythm, put the bat on the ball, maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something to interrupt his timing because he's coming right after these guys. 
Now it's going to be Alex Kirilov. Swing and a miss. Strike one. There's a strike. The White Sox leading by a run. And we're at the top of the fifth. Just missed. It's a good take. Goes down looking. Up next for Minnesota. Matt Walmer, the next twin up to hit. Walmer. Swing and a miss. 99. How do you do? Walmer measures six feet four inches, 220 pounds, and he's usually in the outfield. Today he's the DH. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nothing doing here for the Twins. And we're back. Now at the plate, Jake Fraley. Daddy back to work. Popped up. He's under it. One away. And now it's Christian Vasquez. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one out in front that time. Got him looking. That's out number two. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. And you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Castro stands in now and watches strike one. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. The pitch. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. him looking that's a strikeout down go the twins in order they still trail one nothing and welcome back to the ballpark now the number two hitter Manuel Margot right through there for a strike looking to get the tying run on base got him and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Lewis, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Holding on to a one-run lead here in the second game of the series. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Edouard Julien, the next twin up to hit. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Two outs. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Twins are set down. One, two, three. Back here on the south side. Here's the shortstop at the play. Carlos Correa. And a big swing and a miss. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, Singy. He's blown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance, and he's been very efficient with that pitch count. But at this point, even though it's been relatively low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injuring himself. Foul ball still 0-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The 0-2. 
Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one, any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Kirilov swings through it for strike one. Trying to hold a one-run lead, and we're in the top of the eighth. And that one fouled off. Not even close there. And yeah, the count one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Walner, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Twins retired in short order. Still behind. Here on the south side, now the left fielder, Jake Fraley. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count, at times pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. And he deals. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. He's two outs away. Christian Vasquez, the hitter. And first offering is fouled off. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. This is something about that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout. And this one looking, obviously. So he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. The Twins down to their final out. And next for Minnesota, Willie Castro. One strike away. Right side. And he grabs it. Foul. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Two outs. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Towards first. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. First with two away. Manuel Margot up to the plate. That one's in there 0-1. Castro off of first with two away. They're down to their final strike. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Terrific job in this game. He scattered two hits and pretty dominant. Efficient with his pitch count. Got himself all the way to the finish line and finished what he started.
And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Chicago White Sox going up against the Kansas City Royals. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chompy. And singing the big Whoa. bat in the lineup so far. Back here in Kansas City, on the hill for the White Sox, Mike Daddy. What do we need to know here? Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club. And what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball maybe it's the release point maybe it's the motion but just some way somehow they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side but that kind of velocity and elevated fastball even if it's still in the strike zone can be tough for hitters to get on top of So up now for Kansas City, Vinny Pasquantino. Swing and a miss, strike one. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. Bobby Witt Jr. now, he was drafted second overall by the Royals in 2019. Adley Rutschman was the only player taken ahead of him. Yeah, he... And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Scoreless after one. We head to the bottom of the second, and now the DH, Nelson Velasquez. Swings through that one for strike one. Velasquez, in his second season, 25 years old, and he was a fifth-round pick back in 2017. Swings through it for the K. Some high cheese for strike three. Quick three-pitch strikeout, and you look at the That's sequence. Great. The plan was the clearly to work him inside. Didn't want to let him get his arms extended, make him a little bit uncomfortable in there, and he ended up overmatching him in the process. That's one you have to take note of as a hitter for next time you come to the plate. And now the catcher comes up to him. Freddie for me. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. In the air, center field. Benintendi hustling after it. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there's two down. Now it's Hunter Renfro. This one popped up. Moncada under it. Drops into the glove. And that is that. Back here at Kauffman Stadium. And here is David Fry. Daddy back to work. And there's a foul ball. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And a swing and a miss. And now one away. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Here's Adam Frazier. There's a strike up high. Going one. Swing and a miss as he was out front. He's dealing with a great two-strike hitter right here. The strikeout is not automatic. The Royals trailing by two here in the last half of the third. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Stassi makes the catch. Two up, two down. Batting none. The left fielder, MJ. Here's the left fielder, MJ Melendez. Right through there for a strike. The Royals down by a pair here in game one of this three game set. Swing and a miss, 99. How do you do? Got him. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Royals bats are quiet there, and they're down. To Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Drew Waters stands in. The pitch. Bounce to the left side. Montgomery gets it to first. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Pasquantino stands in now and watches strike one. And that's in there at the knees. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. 
Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. We're going to take a look at the pitch sequence of that at bat. And the thing to notice are the pitch locations. Every single one of them on the edges of the strike zone. And as a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect the pitcher to be able to make quality pitches one after another like that. And so those are tough spots to do damage in a great demonstration of pitch command. And it got him a punch out that time. Win. Batting for the second time. And that's strike one. Late on that fastball. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a pop-up. Drifts towards it. Makes the grab. And that ends the inning. KC. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the DH, Nelson Velasquez. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. Well, these Royals, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. We're in the back half of the game, and they're still searching for a base runner. He's been great out there on the mound, no doubt. But it's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. On the ground to third. Moncada tossed to first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. And now it's going to be Freddie Fermin. Foul ball there. The Royals hitless so far in the game. Goes down looking. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Renfro at the plate with two away swings through that one. Now this offense has just been locked down almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Gets a piece and it stays 0-2. The Royals trailing by two last half of inning number five. Swing and a miss struck him out and good work there as he gets a one two three nothing doing. Well, we go bottom leading six. Up, four, leading four, off, four. David Fry. Third base Daddy base. back to work. Swing and a pop-up. Daddy pulls that one down. One up, one down. Up that was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. So digging in, Adam Frazier. 0 for 1 so far. Just missed. Swings and misses. And it's one and one. Late that time, and it's strike two. Bases empty, one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone now. Well, that was the cutter down and in right there. And typically, if you're going to have a chance with the pitch, if it's down, that's your best chance of doing anything with it. It's kind of like a mini slider, just with a little less vertical movement. But still, that one tied him up, and he couldn't get the barrel to it. On the ground. And it goes just foul. 0-1 now. Comes up empty. That's strike two. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Got it by him for the K. Royals bats are quiet there. They trail things. Set for the last half of the seventh. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Drew Waters. And that one is lifted in the air. Jimenez trying to get there. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. You know, he's been so great today. Really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. Pasquantino batted with one down. Takes a strike. Next offering in there for a strike. No balls, two strikes. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Chris third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And that is that. The perfection continues. Back here in Kansas here City. Go. Bottom of the inning. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Royals. Nelson Velasquez. 
Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. Going oh, two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Right hander kicks, deals. That's off the mark. Now one and two. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, Singy. He's blown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance, and he's been very efficient with that pitch count. But at this point, even though it's been relatively low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injuring himself. Freddie Fermin steps in for the Royals. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Vaughn hauls it in, two away. Man, he's getting really close to this thing right now. Only four outs left, but it's going to be tough to get. Renfro in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Next offering is in for a strike. And there's a ball. Popped up, foul territory behind the play. Stassi drifts towards it. He's got it, and that'll do it. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, all set for the bottom of the ninth. And to the play for Kansas City, David Fry. That one finds the zone. 0-1. Boog, I'll tell you right now, every player defensively on their toes like never before. That one down the line, and foul ball. They want to make sure they have the opportunity to put this pitcher in the history books. They're going to make the play. The high heat, too much on that one. The batter. The second He's eight. two outs away. Adam. And next up for the Royals, Frazier. Adam Frazier. Fastball for a strike. It's 0-1. Next offering is fouled back. One down, base is empty. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusted his stuff in this one. Hit to right, and that should do it. And there it is, history. He's thrown a perfect game. Just unbelievable. I was nervous up here in the booth. I can only imagine what his teammates and even he felt out there on the mound closing this thing out. Everyone will remember this perfect game, and it'll be notched in Cooperstown forever. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious White Sox. Two runs, nine hits, no errors. They left. Welcome back to MLB Tonight. I'm Robert Flores alongside. Hello 
and welcome. Thanks for joining us. And we're back and getting to start. Mike Daddy. Singy, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. Let you know, go. some guys what shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. Popped up, moving under it. Makes the catch for the out. Evan Carter stepping in for the Rangers. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. You'll one. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Just missed the inside corner. And that's ball one. One down, base is empty. Got him swinging. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Rangers go down quickly there. Scoreless at bottom of the second. Here's Josh Young. And a pitch. Daddy. In his rookie season, he features a four-seam fastball, a cutter, a sinker, a splitter, and occasionally mixes in the slur. Vaughn steps on the bag and quickly one away in the second. Here's Leody Tavares. And a foul ball. Only well, got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Late with the swing there. That was straight queso right there. That's off the mark. And yeah, the count one and two. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Off to a strong start, Ziggy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. So next to hit for Texas, Ezekiel Duran. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. No score here in the second. That one a little bit high. One and one. In the air, left side, under it. Makes the catch, inning over. We'll move to the third with no score. Set for the bottom of the third. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. That's towards center. Benintendi balls it in, and there's one away. Batting it. Not shortstop. Davis Wenzel stepping in for the Rangers. That one fouled off. Yeah, now the one in there at the knees. One down, base is empty. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. He goes down looking. Well, he's got great strikeout stuff on the mound, doesn't he? I mean, double-digit strikeouts in his last start, and he's just racking them up again in this one. This guy can really dominate a game out there. Not a fun assignment for any lineup. Number four, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. And a big swing and a miss. You know, Boone, every team has a hitters meeting pregame, but this lineup seems way too anxious, aggressive. You wonder what they talked about. Two outs, base is empty. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And it's a three up, three down inning. Nine Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's the Rangers leadoff hitter, Travis Jankowski. 
Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Well, these Rangers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Left hand hitter waits. Foul ball, it stays, nothing in two. Righty delivers. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Struck him out looking. Here's the left fielder, Evan Carter. His first at bat was a strikeout. Carter. That one misses. Ball one. There's a swing and a miss. Base is empty one away here in game three of this four game series. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Went down on strikes his first time through. There's a strike. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. This to third, and he picks it up in foul territory. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nothing doing for the Bottom of the inning. Here's the third baseman, Josh Young. Well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Swings through that one for strike two. And ball one. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. And the pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Here's a 2-2. Good job to fight that one off. At the belt and fires. Gets a piece and stays alive. Comes a 2-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Well, having such a tough time putting him away. Six foul balls in a row. Man, what a battle. Montgomery. He made the pitcher earn that out after a long at bat. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Up next for the Rangers, Leody Tavares. He was a strikeout victim his first time. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Tavares, 25 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. And strike two. Called strike three on the fastball, and that ran back over the inner half. Now there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. And now the DH, Ezekiel Duran. He swings and fouls one off. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. Righty to the plate. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. And the Rangers set down in order. And it remains 1-0. Bottom of the sixth inning. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. 
This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slogs, some home runs can come into play. Now batting. At the play, Davis Wenzel. Wenzel. And first offering is fouled off. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Got him. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the second baseman. Struck out swinging his first time. And a foul ball. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. So he's perfect through six. White Sox four. Bottom of the seventh. And now it's the Rangers leadoff hitter, Travis Jankowski. And first offering is fouled off. You know, he's been so great today, really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. Going to now. Battling here as he fouls it away. The pitch. Swings and misses, struck him out. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Comes up empty. That's strike two. So impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. Lifted in the air right center field. Fletcher makes the grab on the run. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. The Rangers still looking for their first hit in this one. High fly ball out at a left center field. Should have this one. And that is that. the eighth now the third baseman Josh Young the third baseman. not a single base runner through the first seven innings for this team they've had no answer on the ground in time to ball one up one down and he's now just five outs away he's got a real shot at this thing yeah Boog, he is rolling just in one of those grooves where he looks pretty unbeatable today strike one 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 That's a strike, and it's one and two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting his stuff in this one, Boog. Feeling really good about what he's working with, and that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. The White Sox leading by five here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. This one in the air. Moncada drifts towards it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Rangers go down quickly there. Still looking at. Back in Arlington. Bottom of the ninth. Here's the catcher. Jonah Heim. On the ground to third. And it gets through for a hit. Their first of the ball game. And that's a leadoff double. Oh, man, Boog. He got through eight full innings, took the no-no into the ninth, and I really thought he was going to do it. But, you know, those last three outs can be so tough to get. But outside of that, he's been incredible to watch. And that one's a little bit low. Ball one. These fans, they are 
ready to cheer about something right through there for a strike. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count, at times pitch to contact, but the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. Here's the second baseman. Struck out on just three pitches last time. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. There's just something about that ninth inning. But... So it's their last chance in this one. Travis Jankowski stepping in for the Rangers. Swing and a miss as he was out front right through there for a strike. But well, what's amazing that he's just now about to throw his 100th pitch. I mean, that's something that he could be. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that'll do it. Well, this guy was so close to getting into the history books. He pitched well all game long. That one hit in the ninth inning. A little disappointing, but he got right back on track to finish it out. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. And now the center fielder, Everson Pereira. Center fielder, Everson Pereira. Right through there for a strike. Popped up. Mervis brings it in, and there's one down. Couple of pitches and a quick out. The batter, the second baseman. So the batting order turns over. Andres Jimenez steps in for the Royals. That one finds the zone, and that's strike one. Bases empty one away here on opening day. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. They're down to their final strike. They hope he's the guy to spark a comeback. He tends to play better when his team is behind, so why not him? The Royals down to their final strike. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Her first save of the season is in the books, and that was a nice job of her coming in the game and closing it out. She's off and running now. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. So here's the Royals' DH, Mickey Moniak. Swing and a miss. Going along. Him looking that's a strikeout well that right there is what you want to see out of your closer come in and close the door cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game tell you what that helps her settle in and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs 
And that one fouled off. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and she strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. Murphy, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. She's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Next offering is in for a strike. The Royals down to their final strike. Got him, and that's the ball game. Here now is our final line for this. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. And now, Brady House. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Bounce to the right side. Takes it himself. One up, one down. Now batting. Shortstop. Bo Bichette. Bo Bichette up to the dish. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. One down, base is empty. Right side, Mervis. And Bichette is retired. Here's Michael Tolia. He's already homered here in this one. Pulls that one foul. Two outs. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The 0-2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And a nice inning of work there as she sets him down. One, two, three. So they make short work of him there. And now... Well, you can see this team is feeling it right now. Look at the smiles. Look at the high fives. They feel real good about this three-game series sweep. And they get it done on the road. You talk about the... With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for tuning in. And we've got a good one going here in extra innings. Well, one run game. And now for the Twins, Spencer Steer. One for three. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it. But this is where they earn their keep. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One gone here. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Back to the mound. She's got it. And they're down to their last out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. 
Hit to right, and that ought to do it. And that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers strand the tying run on base to win it. Well, I love the fact they didn't quit. They had to do a little extra work tonight to secure this win, but it's what you got to do over the course of a season if you want to be a championship ball club. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. McAllister. Now the Minnesota cleanup hitter, Walker Jenkins. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. And first offering is fouled off. McAllister goes 5 feet 7 inches, 29 years old, and she's a former All-Star Game MVP. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Welts squeezes it, and there's one away. The third baseman, number 16. Louis. She's two outs Louis. away. Here's Luis Arias. That yeah. one catches the zone. That's strike one. McAllister, a very difficult pitcher to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against her. She wins every pitch. And for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of her pitches. battling here as he fouls it away unless she beats herself somehow can't find it doesn't have the control and command that day she can pretty much forget about it. Lewis tosses to first two up two down as a hitter there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake right yeah and you're hoping that you know somehow some way whether it's a hit by pitch a walk something bad happens because outside ground ball up the middle that's a base hit Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Now batting. First base Johnny in. Lowry Johnny now at the plate. Lowry. Well, they kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against it. This could end it. The 0-2. Got him. That's the ball game. McKee with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Back to the top of the lineup, Dylan Cruz now at the plate. The center fielder, Dylan On the ground, out to short, Walcott. One out, bottom of the ninth. She's two outs away. Now, Kyle Stowers popped up under it. Nabs it to down. Now batting the designated hitter, Raphael. Devers. Angels down to their final out. Devers now. Foul ball. Hey, look, we'll see how it factors in. I just can't emphasize how much that insurance run in the top of the ninth means. I mean, just such a big difference mentally when you're chasing two runs instead of one. The Halos down to their final strike. They hope he's the guy to spark a comeback. He tends to play better when his team is behind, so why not him? That misses the zone. Ball one. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game.
Well, this was a total team effort using six pitchers in this ball game to get the win. Outstanding job of passing the baton. The next pitcher stepping up and getting it. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton. Thanks for joining us. We're in the seventh with nobody out. So digging in, Kyle Manzardo. He's already homered in this game. Kyle Manzardo. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. You know, these Marlins showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. The numbers say they've only chased it pitches outside the zone a little more than 10% of the time, which is excellent. And a swing and a miss down on strikes, and they get now the leadoff hitter in the seventh. The Ryan Clifford, Ryan the next up Clifford. for the Marlins. And first offering is fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. Out there to center. Moving under this one. Hauls it in for the out. Now batting. Catcher. Henry. Davis. Two outs, space is empty. And at the plate for Miami, Henry Davis. One for two. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Top of the zone for a called strike. Two down, nobody on. Here in the second game of the series. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. And one, two, three go the Marlins as they are unable to add to their five nothing. We're at the top of the eight. Here's the second baseman, Kenny Lancaster. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Fought off foul. McAllister in her eighth season, 29 years old, and she's a former All-Star Game MVP. Swings through that one for strike two. Goes down looking. No, oh, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't now think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called now ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And a strike right through there. That one at triple digits. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your oh, glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. And that one in the air center field. He makes the grab, and that'll do it. We go to the ninth. Now it's the right fielder, Will Benson. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. And the pitch. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Lewis makes the grab one away. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Pena stands in now and watches strike one. One out, base is empty. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. 
But that kind of velocity and elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Two outs, base is empty. And now for the Marlins, Wyatt Lankford. Swing and a miss. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the ninth. That one finds the zone. 0 oh 2. I wouldn't say the game's close right now, but it's not out of. Got it by him for the K. Bottom of the ninth coming up, and we'll see. Here now is our final line score for this afternoon. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, G1 Bay. In there at the knees for a strike. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Walcott makes the grab, and there are two outs. Reds down to their final out. Adrian Del Castillo digs in now. Swing and a miss, strike one. She really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next offering is foul back. The Reds down to their final strike. Right through there, got it. And that'll do it. Well, they win the opener at home. First game of the three-game series, and there's just such a good feeling when you're in your own ballpark, you're sleeping in your own bed, you're eating your clubhouse manager's food, everything's right in your world, and they played like it today. Welcome in. We're in the eighth. Two men out. John Shambi along with Chris Singleton. And here's the catcher. Catcher. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Swings and misses. And it's 0 2. Two down, nobody on. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. That's towards center. Golden right there to make the grab. And that is that. Back here at Kauffman Stadium. And now Jay Guerra, the pitch. Splits the plate. Strike one. McAllister, a righty that throws with power. 29 years old, and she's a former All Star Game MVP. 0 oh, 2 now. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Well, I think that was just a case of a hitter quitting on a pitch. He was looking fastball and didn't see it out of the hand and just left the mat on his shoulder. That was a changeup right over the plate. Probably not the location he was looking for, but the change of speeds is what fooled him, and she got the out. Foul ball there. 
One down, base is empty. On its way to the corner, and that's a foul ball. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Herrera in the box with two gone, and it takes a look at a called strike. Lifted to left, and that should do it. And that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers take game one of the series on the road. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the big welcome in John Shabby Chris Singleton late stages of this one nobody out in the ninth. now the left fielder Josh Herman for the Royals the left field swing and a miss going one and that one is lifted in the air Suarez under it squeezes it and there's one down She's two outs away. Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Got it by him for the K. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. The 0-1. Swings through that one out in front that time. The Royals trailing by three. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Popped up to the left into foul ground. And that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers take the first two games of this series on the road. The final line for for our ball game. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining us. Ninth inning here with one away. And next the for right Toronto, Heston Kerstad. Swing and a miss. Swings through that one for strike two. Owen oh Chu now. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Pretty nasty cutter right there, and you're seeing that pitch, that location a lot more these days, and you can see why. Very difficult for hitters. I think the great Mariano Rivera can at least partially be credited for that thanks to the career he had with the cutter. It was just dominant. I tell you what, I felt like it was a moral victory. Ground ball, and this should do it. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. Ball with his sixth win in a row, all of a sudden, you start to look around, up and down the lineup, to your left, to your right as a player, and you say, you know what, we're good. Uh, we may have had some tough times earlier on, but this is a good team, and you start to expect. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Three, four, five, due up for the home team. Vinny Pasquantino, now at the plate. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. And that puts the tying run on base. 
Well, that and bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Timing on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Caught him looking for the K. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. Three strikeouts already. He's 0 for 3. And fouled off. And here it comes. Swings and misses. And a count is 0-2. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Swing and a miss, and she struck him out. And he's gone for the fourth time tonight. Well, oh, interesting. She's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeout. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. She just needs one more out. And that one fouled off. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. This could end it. Got him! And that's the ball game. The number seven is such a cool and sort of lucky number. Well, this team has been playing really well, but to win seven games in a row, uh, there's been some luck and there's been some really good play. I think you get yeah, to this point, hard. you start to look. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. So up now for Chicago, Matt Shaw. Bounced up the middle. Sneaks through, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Luisa Rise stands in. There's a strike. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. That one misses, and it's one and two. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Fights that one away, still one and two. Got him swinging. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Vladdy stands in now and watches strike one. In the air, right field coming on. He's got it. And yeah, there's two away. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Christopher Morell. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. And, and a foul ball. Fights it off, you'll see another. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. No runs, one hit, no... 
it's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like, but they didn't let it. Welcome in, John Chomby, Chris Number Singleton. 22. Late stages yeah. of this one, nobody out Good in the ninth. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. That's a strike across the top of the zone. McAllister, a former All-Star, 29 years old, and she was drafted in the fourth round in 2023. Ground ball right side, and it finds its way through for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Singy, that's a start. Yeah, as soon as that ball got through, I could see down in the dugout, players pumping their fists. They know that they got a chance in this ball game. And a foul ball. 0-1 now. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. When the leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Looking to get the tying run on base. Fall off foul. The 0-2. And that one is inside ball one. Way inside. This is the pitcher they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game. But they're going to make her work to get this save. Trying to close out a one-run lead here in the second game of the series. Swings and misses, struck him out. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're bumping high 90s, you'll get away with some of those, more margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport, and I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. One down, base is empty. Fouled off, he was late. Swings and misses, struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. So it's their last chance in this one. And next for the Cubs, Jake Fraley. Fastball for a strike. 0-1. And she blows that one by him at 100. The Cubs down to their final strike. Got him. Ball game. Well, even though this team got the win and this pitcher got the save, you can tell she's a little dejected. Not the performance that she wanted, giving up a couple of runs. But in the end, got to be happy that she got the W. Team can go on the clock. Welcome in, John Chomby, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. And Manuel Valdez stands in for the Phillies. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. McAllister, a very difficult pitcher to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against her. She wins every pitch, and for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of her pitches. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. 
unless she beats herself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day, she can pretty much forget about it. Swing and a miss. As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that you know, somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk, something bad happens because outside of that, her stuff is just too good to fail. Driscoll stands in now and watches strike one. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the ninth. Got him. And that is the ball game. Start of a new month is a great chance to hit the reset button. Whether you're coming in hot or cold, getting that win today is a great feeling to continue through the rest of the month. The final line score for our ball game this Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Now, Gunnar Henderson, corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And fouled off. Looking to get the tying run on base. Strike two. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. On the ground. Walcott. Slings it across. And that quickly, two away. That play won't be trending on social now, media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, Parker. Swing and a foul straight back. This is the type of hitter his club wants it to play, especially playing from behind. He's hoping to start a rally right here. One strike away. Foul ball still 0-2. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98. But a really good pass at the ball. Got him. And that is the ball game. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the players standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic... Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the night. Here's the Angels catcher, Scott Ryan. McAllister in her eighth season, 29 years old, and she's a former All-Star Game MVP. Strike two. Bringing the cheese on that one. Here's the 0-2. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Next pitch is outside. The Angels trailing by three here in the second game of the series. Swing and a miss. And a count, one and two. Angels with only one out left. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters. Two. On the ground, and this should do it. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Players start hitting up and down the lineup. You never know who's going to come up with the big hit. Who's
With Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining us. We're in the sixth and nobody out. So the Houston lineup turns over. And stepping in for the Astros, Jordan Walker. Fought off foul. Well, these Astros doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. One thing that really stands out is their chase rate. League average is around 30%, but they're at less than 20% right now. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes and one away. This is Dylan Carlson. And first offering is fouled off. One out, base is empty. That one's in there. And the count is 0-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Chance to strike out the side now. Down you talk back. about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Two outs, bases empty. Jackson Holiday up next for the Astros. There's a strike. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. She's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Next offering is fouled back. Left field. Tavares drifts towards it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that's the. Back here in Houston, bottom of the seventh. And now the first baseman, Christian Encarnacion Strand. And a foul ball. McAllister, 29 years old, and she's a former All-Star Game MVP. And a foul ball. The 2 And down on strikes. And there's one down. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball now, right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a cold ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Miller in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Base is empty one away. You're in game one of this three-game set. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. I wouldn't say the game's close right now, but it's not out of reach either. I mean, these guys really need to put up a zero on the board just to maintain a little hope. Tosses to first. Three up, three down, inning over. On to the bottom of the eighth. And here's the catcher, Adley Rutschman. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. And a pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Just off the outside edge. One and two to count. Swings through it for the K. The high heat too much on that one. But that kind of velocity and elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. On the ground to the left. Lewis throws to first. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the right fielder, Elijah Green. That one's in there. Strike one. I wouldn't say the game's close right now, but it's not out of reach either. I mean, these pitchers really need to put up a zero. Got him. And it's a one, two, three inning. 
Astros are down quietly. They still lead it, though. Well, they win the opener at home. First game of the three-game series, and there's just such a good feeling when you're in your own ballpark, you're sleeping in your own bed, you're eating your clubhouse manager's food, everything's right in your world, and they played like it today. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Shabby. Thanks for joining us. Ninth inning here with one away. Here's the shortstop at the play, Jackson Holiday. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Traffic on the bases with two already in to score here in the last half of inning number nine. She deals. Goes down looking. No, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. Walker in the box now. No balls in a strike. Swing and a miss as he was late. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Welcome if you just joined us John Shambi and Chris Singleton as we've got two away in the ninth. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland. And that one fouled off. As a pitcher you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run so you really have to execute on the mound. The Athletics down to their final strike. Got him. And the crowd goes home disappointed as this one draws to a close. Our final line. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for tuning in. And we've got a good one going here in extra innings. Well, one run game. Here's the second baseman, Rick Cortez. Strike one. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it. But this is where they earn their keep. So the tying run at second. And a swing and a miss. And one away. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Now Come in the and the close the door. Cancel any hope no. that that oh, no. opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Navarro, the next to hit, takes ball one. With the tying run at second, here in extra innings. And that one fouled off. And now one and two. This guy at the dish excels in two strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. Up the middle. And they're down to their last out. 
Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, the make the pitch, baseman. get the ground ball. Hey. Excellent piece Prescott. of work. Prescott in the box now, takes strike one. White Sox down to run, and we're in the last half of the tenth. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. In there, got him looking for the K. And that ends the ball game. The tying run left stranded at second. A stellar performance on the mound tonight. And Singy, she didn't just earn a place in the history books. She earned her team a win. And I'm sure she'd tell you that that's what it's all. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Well, one run game. Rick Cortez steps to the plate for the White Sox. Well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. Swing and a miss. Adam out front for the strikeout. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out. You get settled in. You feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that you know you're going to wrap this thing up. Got him swinging. Now well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and she strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly but you got to go up there maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat spread out put the ball in play and maybe you can extend this inning. White Sox down to their final out. And next to hit for the Sox, Abe Prescott. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Now, Boog, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. Fouled off. He was late. The White Sox down to their final strike. Out towards left center. Varsho moving under it. And that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers win the last two to take the three-game series. This is a huge win to take this series on the road before heading back home. You go home. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Well, one run game, and now the catcher comes up to him. Tyler Soderstrom. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Swing and a miss as he was late. No ball. And that drops in for a strike. Looking to get the tying run on base. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Left-hand batter waits. Fights it off. He'll see another. The pitch. Missed with a changeup. Going to count one and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and it kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. There's the strike. Just amazing to me how many closers and back-end relievers just throw absolute gas. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. 
two away. Now it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and she strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. Now, Brendan Donovan on the ground, and this should do it. Throw to first in time, and this one is over. The Rangers take the first two games of this series. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Players start hitting up and down the lineup. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Leading so digging in, Luis Angel Acuna. Luis Angel Acuna. Way out front for strike two. Gets a piece and it stays 0 2. The pitch. That just misses. Now 1 and 2. And the pitch. Got him. Bottom of the ninth. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. So they're down to their final out. Here's the center fielder, Roman Anthony. That one down the line, and it finds its way through for a hit. Throws to second. Tag. Got him! And that's the ball game. The final line score for our ball game tonight. For the
Dombey, Chris Singleton, late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. And now the right fielder, Daryl Romero. The right fielder, Daryl Romero. And a foul ball. On the ground, right side. One up, one down. A couple of pitches and a quick out. The catcher, number 28, Jonah Heim. She's two outs away. Jonah Heim up next for the Astros. And a big swing and a miss. He's a master at hitting fastballs. You need to be careful with location if you're going to throw. Swings through that one for strike two. Base is empty one away here in game one of this three-game set. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Came after him with the fastball on 0-2, and that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitching is all about. She's got the stuff, obviously, and right there she used it. To Up the middle. Throw to first in time, and this one is over. The Rangers take the series opener here at home. Start of a new month is a great chance to hit the reset button. Whether you're coming in hot or cold, getting that win today is a great feeling to continue through the rest of the month. Welcome in, John Jambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. This is Dylan Carlson. And that one fouled off. Looking to get the tying run on base. Gets under and pops it up. Lewis should have this one. Puts it away for the out. That's such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter she faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit and then from there can really settle in. High fly ball, right field. This could go the distance. Home run. One down. Christian Encarnacion Strand up next for the Astros. Popped up, foul territory behind the play. Out number two. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Sends it across the first, and that's the third out. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining us. Ninth inning here with one away. One down. Jaron Duran up next for the Red Sox. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. Runner at second here, one gone. Bounce to the right side. Lux tosses to first. And there's two away. Couple of pitches and a quick out. Here's Tyler O'Neill. He's 0 for 1. Fought off foul. They're down to their final strike. The Red Sox down to their final strike. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level, and you start to gain this momentum, and you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the line.
Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. So the batting order turns over, and now the first baseman, little chopper, rolls foul. Next pitch off the play, and it's a ball and a strike. Swings through that one. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this pitcher out there on the mound. We'll see if she continues to climb the ladder. One run game, bottom nine. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And another ball. And a swing and a miss. One away. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. And they're down to their last out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Green swings through it for strike one. That's a strike across the top of the zone. This guy at the dish excels in two strike counts. Got to be careful. Got him! And that is the ball game. The number seven is such a cool and sort of lucky number. Well, this team has been playing really well, but to win seven games in a row, uh, there's been some luck and there's been some really good play. I think you get to this point, you start to look at, can we dump? Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Gorman in the box now, no balls and a strike. That one finds the zone. No balls, two strikes. The pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out. You get settled in. You feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump. And kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Two away. Now batter. The third baseman. Diamondbacks down to their final out. Brett Beatty stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And it's fouled away. McAllister, 29 years old, and she was drafted in the fourth round in 2023. Two-run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Got him. And that'll do it. Well, the goal when you go on the road is to at least play 500 ball. Well, they've been winning series. They win this one here. And you got your... Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. This is Willie Castro, one for three. Bounce to the right, Bernabel. And he takes it himself for the out. So in now for Cleveland, Junior Caminero. Hey, look, we'll see how it factors in. I just can't emphasize how much that insurance run in the top of the ninth means. I mean, just such a big difference mentally when you're chasing two runs instead of one. On the ground to third, Lewis. Now only one out remaining. Here's O'Neill Cruz. He's already homered in this game. Swing and a miss. That one at 99. It's 0 and 1. Two run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. 
And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Every team wants a reliable closer, and that's exactly what she delivers for her squad. They expect to win when she's on the mound at the end of the ball game, and she just produced her 25th the save of the year. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Ray Fernandez digs in now. Swings and misses. And that is strike one. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Cortez under it. But it's the pitcher that makes the play. And there's one away. Here's the shortstop at the play. Oswald Peraza. There's a strike. Power relievers one after another coming out of the bullpen these days. Got to be ready for that first pitch heater. That's the third. Sends it across it. the first. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the center fielder. And it's fouled away. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, goodness. I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. Got him swinging. So they go quietly there. 8 9 1 due up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the White Sox five and the Rangers two. Another outing, another save. That's his 20th of the season, and this was a good example of why they rely on him so heavily in these close games. Our final line score tonight. First for the Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Three, four, five due up for the home team. Now the left fielder, Brandon Marsh. Out to short. Zips it to first. A huge out to start the bottom of the ninth. She's two outs away. Next to hit, Alan Blanton. Swings oh and misses. That's strike one. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Looking to get the tying run on base. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. Field two. Got him! And now two gone. She throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter, and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, she got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. So last chance for the Dodgers. And next for L.A., Diego Cartaya. And strike one to the catcher. Fouled off. He was late. McAllister is just one strike away. Mm, just misses there. Fouls it off, still one and two. Two outs. Got him, and that's the ball game. Well, the goal when you go on the road is to at least play 500 ball. Well, they've been winning series. They win this one here. And you got
Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Here's the left fielder, Matt Frazier. Three for three with three singles. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. She's two outs away. And now for Seattle, Michael Bush. There's a strike. She really sells the changeup with that arm action. Swing and a miss struck him out. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if she can strike out the side. Rojas stands in now and watches strike one. The M's down to their final strike. Swing and a miss, and she got it. That's the ball game. The final run score for our ball game. For the big Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Now it's Alexander Canario. To the right side, Lux. In plenty of time to first, now one gone in the ninth. And up next for New York, Bernie DeVarco. Fought off foul. Lifted in the air. And he'll play it on a bounce. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Kind of a risky pitch coming inside with the breaking ball like that. You have to bury it. Otherwise, it's not too difficult to get the bat to it like he did that time. Lux. Toss the second. That's a double play. The ball game is over. Any day of the week, a pitcher will take two for one. Nice double play to get her out of the jam. They get the W. Way to go. The final line for
Welcome in John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Hey, no so here's the here. cleanup hitter, Ethan Salas. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. And down on strikes. One gone here. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. I'll tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Runner on at first with one gone. Leo Marmolejo digs in now. And that one fouled off. Now this is just par for the course these days. Huge fastballs coming out of the bullpen. And a swing and a miss there. No ball. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. And that one in the air center field under it. Squeezes it. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync. And the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. So it's their last chance in this one. Now the third baseman, Michael Massey. Popped up, foul territory behind the play. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, and that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. It's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Now the catcher up to hit, Harry Ford, one for three. Swings through that. No ball, one strike. And strike two. Looking to get the tying run on base. Stays alive. 0-2 now. And down on strikes he goes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. I'll tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Ramos swings through it for strike one. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count is 0-2. In there, sets him down on strikes. Now only one out remaining. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if she can strike out the side. So last chance for the Mariners. Now the left fielder, Matt Frazier. Swings and misses. Going oh, one. one. McAllister is just one strike away. Got him, and that's the ball game. She's one of the best closers to ever play the game of baseball, and that's her 450th career save, and the names ahead of her on the all-time career list is very short.
Welcome in John Chambi, Chris Singleton late stages of this one nobody out in the night. And now for Seattle Geraldo Perdomo. That one's in there. That's strike one. He's a bad ball hitter so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. And that'll fall for a base hit and the leadoff man aboard. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely, and that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. If you're looking for a strike thrower, here she is. Doesn't matter what era baseball. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Go! just barely got it over the wall I thought for a second he brought it back out there too he gave it a great effort but you know those plays are so tough to pull off and I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it swing and a miss as he was out front that time puts it in the air out towards left center He's got it. One down. It's a good recovery, though, after giving number up the home base, run. Not allowing it to stay Thank in you. the head, but going Gray. to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. Gray, batting with one down, takes a strike. In the air, right field, under it. And he makes the catch. Out. Number two. So, Chris, does the offense dial up the aggressiveness against, or what is the approach exactly? Well, there is confidence that, hey, I'm going to get a pitch to hit during the bat. There's some pitchers where you're thinking, maybe I get one pitch to hit. It's something that I have a chance to turn around. With this pitcher, you're going to get two, maybe three. It's just a matter of, can you capitalize? The Mariners down to their final strike. Got him. And that'll do it. Well, there's a lot more work to be done in this series, but it all starts one game at a time. Taking the first of four, that means you're in a position to avoid a sweep. Come out tomorrow, when you win two games, you know that you've at least split the series. Those are the mind games you got to play with yourself as a big league. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. And stepping in for the Mariners, Geraldo Perdomo, one for three. Swings through that one. McAllister, a righty that throws with power. 29 years old, and she's a former All-Star Game MVP. Got him, Luki. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump. And kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. And that one hammered Golden. Going back. And that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers take the finale and earn a split of this four-game series. Well, this was a total team effort using six pitchers in this ball game to get the
Welcome in John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Hey, no outs, and digging in for San Francisco, Nolan Shanowell. Yeah. That's in there. It's 0 1. And that clips the inside corner. Oh, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Dominating strike out there on just three pitches, and that's what a good power pitcher can do to you. She's hitting her spots, filling up the strike zone. Sometimes he bats over before it really begins. McAllister, a very difficult pitcher to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against her. She wins every pitch, and for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of her pitches. He goes down looking. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a cold ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Fraley, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Two out spaces empty. Unless she beats herself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day, she can pretty much forget about it. And down on strikes he goes. And it's a three up, three down inning. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. It's nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like, yeah, but they didn't let any of those things distract. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Colin Hout up now for the Tigers. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. Just missed. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Righty to the plate. Come on and miss. Struck him out. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Strike two. Well, that insurance run in the bottom of the eighth inning was so good to add on, especially with this power hitter at the plate. If he goes deep, you're still up in the ball game. Really good spot to be in right here. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if she can strike out the side. And a pitch. Foul ball there. The Tigers down to their final strike. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game.
Welcome in, John Chomby, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. And Lead now off. it's going to be Joshua Baez. One for three. Joshua. That one finds the zone. Oh, yeah. It's 0 1. <laughs> Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. One run game, bottom nine. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Fights it off, he'll see another. That one misses, and it's one and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Looking to get the tying run on base. Strike three, got him swinging. He didn't make it easy for her on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. That pitch clips the outside corner, and the count is 0-2. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. One down, base is empty. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field, way back there. And it bangs off the monster. And now the tying run is in the scoring position. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. Popped up in position. Squeezes it. Two down. Got the pitch that he wanted. Just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit, and the launch angle not where he needed it to be. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. Swing and a miss! Struck him out! And that ends the ball game. The tying run left stranded at second. It's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. Welcome in, John Chomby, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Three, four, five due up for the home team. Fernando Cervantes digging in for the Nationals. Here comes the 0-1. And there's a foul ball. The 0-2. Swing and a ball popped up. Cortez moving under this one. Hauls it in for the out. She's two outs away. So next will be the four-hole hitter for the Nationals. Jesus Sanchez. McAllister, a very difficult pitcher to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against her. She wins every pitch. And for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of her pitches. Unless she beats herself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day, she can pretty much forget about it. Gets a piece. And stays alive. As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. To the warning track. Makes the catch. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Montgomery stands in now and watches strike one. Popped up. Lewis gets under it. 
And that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers, even this series, up at a game apiece. The final line score for our ball game tonight. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Well, one run game, and now James Wood foul back our way, and that's out of play. Looking to get the tying run on base and fouled off. The 0 2. Fights it off, he'll see another. The pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Jacob Gonzalez digging in for the Nationals. A swing and a miss. And that's strike one. A one run lead here, the last half of inning number nine. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. And there are two down. Now batting, catcher, Jefferson. Caro. So they're down to their final out. Jefferson Caro, the next to hit, as the Nationals are down to their final out. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Trying to close out a one-run lead here in the rubber match of this three-game series. And that's the ball game. This is why they turned to her to close out game. She's so reliable in these spots, and she just proved it for the 35th time this season. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining us. Ninth inning here with one away. One now it's the right fielder, Sidane Rafaela. And a foul ball. The 0-1. Right through there for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there in the mound. So they're down to their final out. And here's the first baseman, Austin Callahan. That one catches the zone, 0-1. One, one. The Rockies down to their final strike. Down. And that is the ball game. Come in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Well, one run game. So in now for Colorado, Francisco Alvarez. Swing and a ball lifted left field. One up, one down. Good pitch. She just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. Collier in the box now. Take strike one. Fastball for a strike. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Rockies down to their last out. And now the center fielder, Kevin Alcantara. That one fouled off. 
One run game here in the top of the ninth. Sends it to center and that's going to do it. And that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one run ball game. After four wins in a row you start to think a little bit that you're. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. And now, Alex Santana. On the ground, and that one handled. Fires across the diamond, one up, one down. Back to the top of the lineup, David Marcus. The next to hit for the Orioles. That pitch in for a strike. 0-1. This is the type of hitter his club wants it to play, especially playing from behind. He's hoping to start a rally right here. Next offering is in for a strike. Got him swinging. That right there is one of those breaking balls that you swing through and you feel like you should have done something with it or at least spoiled it away. But when it's breaking in on you like that, if the spin is tight enough, it can actually tie you up. Lifted to left, and that should do it. Calls it in, and that's the ball game. The final line score for our ball game. For the victory. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Leover Piguero, the next to hit for the Orioles. That catches the corner. All season long, she's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. The tying run at the plate. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in. Wells, good feed. That's one. That's a double play. The ball game is over. I'd say this team really needed to win this game today. It pushed them over the top to win the series, which is great. But when you go on the road in the next series... Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Here's Victor Robles. So important to stay within yourself, especially for this hitter. Not known to be a power guy or a home run hitter. He needs to set the table by getting on with a walk or a base hit. Just missed. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. Cut on and missed 96 with that fastball. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. Left field. One away. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. Hernandez in the box now. Take strike one. To the right side. And he picks it up in foul territory. Got him looking for the strikeout. 
Cardinals now with just one out remaining. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. One out left for the Cardinals. Here's the second baseman, Colt Keith. Swing and a miss. Going one. McAllister is just one strike away. Got him looking. And that is the ball game. We've grown to expect her to just roll in the games and simply close them out easily. And she's made it look very easy at times. And now she's up to 40 saves for the year. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for tuning in. And we've got a good one going here in extra innings. Well, one run game. And now the DH. Fought off foul. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it. But this is where they earn their keep. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out. You get settled in. You feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump. And kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. All season long, she's racked up a number of saves. And sometimes... The adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer oh, black. Hard. Man, sometimes you That's just got to tip stop. your cap. Justin Last chance now for the Pirates. Now, Justin Romberg. Hit slowly on the ground. Throw to first in time, and this one is over. The Rangers take game one of the series on the road. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Now it's the DH. He's already homered in this game. Now, I believe this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. One run game, bottom nine. And it's quickly nothing in two on the designated hitter. Goes down looking. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Looking to get the tying run on base. Foul ball still 0-2. And yeah, the righty deals. Got him swinging. No, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and she strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. So they're down to their final out. And now the shortstop, Justin Romberg. Late on that fastball. 
Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Popped up to the left into foul ground. Lewis drifts towards it. And that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one run ball game. Well, I'd say we got treated to a good one. Gotta love a game when you get 13 runs on the board. A lot of offense, but it doesn't end in a blowout. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for tuning in. And we've got a good one going here in extra innings. Here's the third baseman. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Late with the swing there. All season long, she's racked up a number of saves. And sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Now Come back. in and yes, close the door. Yeah. Cancel any hope yes, that that yeah. opponent has yeah. in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Castle swings oh. through it for strike one. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch two away just about gives her skipper a heart attack but that's where she functions best Baez in the box now takes strike one that one in there across the letters McAllister is just one strike away with the tying run at the plate and we're in the bottom of the 11. Got him looking. And the crowd goes home disappointed as this one draws to a close. This team secures a winning season with the W today. And regardless of what else happens the rest of the way, you know that you're a winning ball club. So a little bit of pressure off. Put your foot on the... Welcome in, John Chomby, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. So digging in, Jackson Holiday, one for three. And a foul ball. Left-hand batter waits. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. At the belt and fires. On the ground, Cortez. And he handles it himself for the out. And stepping in for the Astros, Christian Encarnacion Strand. And that one fouled off.
right through there for a strike. Swings and misses, struck him out. I'll well, we see it more commonly in the sport these days, yeah, but man, a triple-digit fastball blown yeah. right by someone is still pretty awesome to witness. I mean, you've got to be geared up and ready to swing it when a pitcher like this comes out of the bullpen because that fastball, it eats, and if you're not ready, you're going to be walking back to the dugout. The Strohs down to their final strike. the ball game. Well, great start to this four-game series to get the first one at home, but these players know they've got some work to do because they could easily drop the next three if they're not careful. Can't get too comfortable. Get some rest. Come back for the next Welcome game. if you just joined us. John Shambi and Chris Singleton as we've got two away in the night. Aiden Miller digs in now. Aiden Miller. There's a strike. Some hitters are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. That one finds the zone, and the count is 0-2. The pitch. Right through their cover. And that is the ball game. You don't reach 45 saves in a season by wasting opportunities. This pitcher's been taking advantage of these moments all year, and we saw it happen again in this win. Here now is our final line. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the night. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. And now for the Twins, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. And he'll two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And the right-hander deals. Caught him looking for the K. She's two outs away. And now, Miguel Vargas. Up the middle. And that one finds its way through. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Now the left fielder, Miguel Ortiz. And that's a strike. All season long, she's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. Tying run at the plate. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Just about gives her skipper a heart attack, but that's where she functions best. This one in the air right field, trying to track this one down. He's got it. So it's their last chance in this one. Walker Jenkins digs in now, and that's in for a strike. Just amazing to me how many closers and back-end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. One strike away. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Got him, and that is the ball game. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level. And you start to gain this momentum. And you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching.
Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Here's the left fielder. 0 for 4 with four strikeouts. That one's in there. 0 and 1. Ground ball up the middle, and that one finds its way through. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Singy, that's a start. Yeah, as soon as that ball got through, I could see down in the dugout. Players pumping their fists. They know that they got a chance in this ball game. Pajes in the box now. Take strike one. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Swings and misses. Struck him out. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. She's two outs away. Digging in for Oakland, Russell Schultz. Swing at a chopper, Walcott. Oakland down to their final out. Those plays can be tricky, they're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always gonna be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Fought off foul. Right-hander kicks, deals. Hard hit, right side. Steps on the bag himself, ball game. Well, this was a total team effort using six pitchers in this ball game to get the win. Outstanding job of passing the baton, the next pitcher stepping up and getting it done. You gotta give him a lot of credit because this is not easy to do. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. 0 for 4, two strikeouts and two ground outs. Fought off foul. The pitch. And it's fouled away. Righty to the plate. Got him. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. So, last chance for the Tigers. Mariano Hernandez now at the plate. Headed down the line, and no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. They're down to their final strike. No ball. Two down, nobody on. Here in the last half of inning number nine. Got him. And that is the ball game. Well, you can see this team is feeling it right now. Look at the smiles. Look at the high fives. They feel real good about this three-game series sweep. And they get Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Zach DeZenzo getting ready to hit. And that's off the inside edge. And that is ball one. All season long, she's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. Kicks and deals. And that one hit to first, and it finds its way through for a hit. Throw back in quickly, first and second now with nobody out. And now the center fielder, Jake McCarthy. Little chopper rolls foul. Just about gives her skipper a heart attack, but 
That's where she functions best. On the ground to short. Off balance feed. There's one. Over to first. Safe. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Berger swings through it for strike one. The tying run at the plate. Swings and misses. And it's one and two. The last thing he wants is to hit. Caught him looking for the K. Just locked him up right there for the second out. And that's an bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot. So now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. So it's their last chance in this one. Mark Vientos up now for the Brewers. Clips the corner. That's strike one. They're down to their final strike. Quickly in an 0-2 count. You've got to figure out a way to shorten your path. Got him. And that is the ball game. Well, with this sixth win in a row, all of a sudden, you start to look around, up and down the lineup, to your left, to your right as a player, and you say, you know what, we're good. Uh, we may have had some tough times earlier on, but this is a good team. And you start. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Well, one run game, Kyle Teal now at the plate. This to third, Lewis. Slings to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Spencer Horowitz next up for the Blue Jays. Well, oh, we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand, the way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. The 1 1. This one high in the air to left center. Wilson under it. And yeah, there's two away. Two out, space is empty. And now the center fielder, Spencer Jones. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. Here's the 0 2. And they'll do it again. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Got him. And it's a three up three down inning. So they go quietly there. Five six and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. Back at Globe Life Field. Here's the third baseman Andrew Monasterio. Well, it's kind of deflating. You blow that lead in the bottom of the ninth. So here's a new opportunity. Hit the reset button. Try to get some more runs and then close it out in the bottom half of this one. That ball is foul and the pressure is building. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Now into the game, Dalton Varsho. He'll be out in left field. Fall off foul. Man at second. The shortstop takes the ball. Popped up. Settles underneath it. Brings it in. That's out number two. 
And here is Herrera. Chopped in the ground. Walcott on the run. Sends it over to first. And the Blue Jays go down. One, two. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. And now it's going to be Nick Gonzalez. McAllister back to work. Left field. And there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Pasquantino swings through it for strike one. He's falling behind in a huge spot, Boo. Got to do what it takes to come through. Maybe choke up on the bat a little. Swing and a miss, and she struck him out. And two away now. Nice work there to get the strikeout, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this home crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. Heston Kerstad next up for the Blue Jays. Rip to short. Zips it to first. That's the third out. Blue Jays held in check. Still Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Well, one run game. Dylan Cruz digs in now. Swings through that one for strike one. Oh, and one. Right through there for a strike. Looking to get the tying run on base. Caught him looking for the K. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Everything came together for him. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Next offered in there for a strike. 0 and 2. All season long, she's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two out. You know, the danger with the slider is leaving it out over the heart of the plate and getting contact on it. If you're going to miss, you want to miss towards the corners, not in the middle. Right there, she does a great job with hard break at the end. She ran it inside. Very difficult to do anything when you're tied up like that as a hitter. Angels down to their final out. Here's the third baseman, Elvis Martinez. There's a strike. Just about gives her skip for a heart attack, but that's where she functions best. Swing and a miss. Blew it by him at 99. Got him! And that is the ball game. It takes a team effort to reach 50 saves in a season, and she wouldn't have games to close out if not for her teammates putting her in a position to succeed. They set her up, and she closes it down. Here that was our...
Welcome in John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Now the third baseman, Aiden Miller. And that's in for a strike. And now it's even up. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. And it's one and two. And that misses off the outside edge. I don't know how you take that one after the called strike on the corner. Just a little bit off the edge. Lewis tosses to first. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. She's two outs away. Ronnie Mauricio now. And that drops in for a strike. No ball, one strike. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Right-handed reliever. Foul ball still 0-2. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. You usually are going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite side, but that pitch really got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well-thrown pitch. Yeah. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. McAllister is just one strike away. The 0-2. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. 3-1 ball game, quick game. We were looking for a little bit more. It seemed at points the offenses were going to break out, but a total of four runs combined. Really the good pitching and defense on both sides. Just a couple of key swings. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Gabrielle Moreno getting ready to hit. And a big swing and a miss. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. Got him. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Base is empty one away here in game two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and she strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. McAllister is just one strike away. Lifted in the air down the left side. And that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers even this series up at a game apiece. Here's one final look at the line score from this one, Chris. It was a close two-run game, and a couple of key moments just really made the difference. Not much separates these. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Drew Gilbert now at the plate. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. 
on the ground right side throws the first in time one up one down if you want to be a great defense you have to deliver consistently it doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw Triantos in the box now takes strike one swing and this one's bounced to the ground Walcott and they're down to their last out. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Chorio in the box now. Takes strike one. On the ground to the left. Throw to first in time, and this one is over. The Rangers take home field advantage right back. They win game three to go up two to one. So, Chris, here's a look at the final numbers from what turned out to be a... Welcome in. We're in the eight. Two men out. John Shambi along with Chris Singleton. So two down. Arjun Nimola up shot. next for the A's. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. The A's strand one. They trail things here. Back here in the East Bay. And here's the first baseman, Jose Miranda. She deals. And that one fouled off. McAllister, a former All-Star, 29 years old, and she was drafted in the fourth round in 2023. Welts sizes this one up, takes it in for the out. Up next to the catcher. Gabriel Moreno. And now the catcher comes up to him. Gabriel Moreno. And there's the strike. Upstairs. One down, base is empty. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. And the Texas Rangers take the series, and they're headed to the ALCS. Well, a really solid division series win. They can move on to the next round and I think relax a little bit more. Congratulations. Get ready for the ALCS. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Here's the third baseman, Andrew Monasterio. And that's in for a strike. 
swing and a miss as he was late. And down on strikes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Now it's the right fielder, Heston Kerstad. And a foul ball. Bases empty one away here in the late stages of game two. Right through there for a strike. Bounce to the left side. Rolls across the diamond. Two up, two down. The batter. The left field. Jose. Back to the top of the lineup. And here is Herrera. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Swings through that one for strike two. Caught him looking for the K. Three up, three down that time. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the ninth. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Leading off well, one run game, digging in. Key Brian Hayes. Hayes. A bit behind with that swing, it's strike one. And a swing and a miss. Oh, and two now. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. On the ground, right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Spencer Jones next up for the Blue Jays. That one fouled off. And that drops in for a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. And first offering is fouled off. Well, this is just par for the course these days. Huge fastballs coming out of the bullpen. And strike two. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. Good eye in that spot. It's a good take. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. So they go quietly there. Six, seven, eight. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Thank mm -hmm. you. 